So I think understandably some people are interested to hear what this power amp in aspect of the Line 6 Catalyst sounds like. And so I wanted to, I've got the FM3 down here and all I'm gonna do is plug straight out of this into the power amp in. At the moment I've got an IR on there and I'll just experiment with that a little bit and show you exactly what it sounds like. So as I say, the setup is just literally you flick the switch here to power amp in and you just plug it in. Uh, so I'm going out of the jack, the output jack into here. And um, yeah, this is my first time trying this. There is a global setting on the FM3, which is really handy to turn off cabinet modeling as well. So we'll try that. Uh, so I'm in. Now I'm in 0.5 mode. Uh, so I'm just going to turn off the delay because So that to me has got the sound. So generally what I've found using the FRFR thing and a speaker, so this has been the same with the power cab. Um, you get like this sort of smaller sound, I think, because you've got that IR going on. So you're playing an IR through a speaker which already has some speaker coloration. So what I want to do is go into the global settings on here, turn off cabinet modeling so at the moment it's on now it's bypassed so there was an EQ already on I've just bypassed that now that actually is quite a lot more pleasing uh, so there was an EQ already on so Okay, so that's sounding pretty cool. Let me try some factory presets for you um, and see how we get on with those. So all I've done is just got rid of the cabinet, so with the global setting. And now let's try, this is a Vox, the A-Class 15 preset. So scene four says boosted, so let's try that. Cool, so that seems to work pretty well. I guess what I'm really looking for is, that, does it sound like something that I actually want to be hearing or does it sound like I've put the FM3 through a dodgy sounding speaker. So now we're on the AC20. Okay, so again, that to me is, is feeling and sounding pretty awesome. Um, Uh, 
So, I mean, I could turn it up even, so this is the 100 watt mode now. something heavier so I think maybe if we put it on something like a 5153 maybe this is where it might struggle given that it's an open back kind of combo <laughs> as hot as I was expecting. Let's try FAS Modern. Now on Fox ODS. That one seems to be working really well. Let's try Petrucci Rig FM3. Seems to be working pretty okay on that sort of thing as well. So here we are using the Two Rock J35. <laughs> So I'm just going to turn it up now and see what it sounds like a bit louder. You might not get the best kind of representation because I'm imagining this is going to sound too loud for this mic, but... Thank you. 
So in summary, I think quite a lot of that sounds quite good. I think you may have to adjust your presets if you've got um, kind of big high cuts on the IR. In general, I think it's doing a pretty good job, I would say. So as I say, all I've done is just turned off the cabinet modeling and just gone through some of those like that. It's potentially a little bit brighter than the power cab. But yeah, I think it's, it's doing an okay job. Let me know your thoughts. I don't know how well it's going to translate on there. I'll just try and put it together now. Um, but yeah, I think for sure for the money, 330 quid, you're really getting quite a, a lot for your money, I think. If you wanted even more volume out of the catalyst i think you'd have to just boost the output that you're coming out of the fm3 with um but yeah i think that to me is given enough volume that i'd be allowed to use on stage so generally i think could be a good tool for this job let me know your thoughts in the comments cheers